Everybody, welcome back to another episode of Shifty's 49ers Talk. In this video, we are going to discuss some of the potential candidates to replace D'Amico Ryans as defensive coordinator for the San Francisco 49ers. Now, of course, officially, D'Amico has not been hired anywhere as a head coach, but I think we can all agree that essentially it's an inevitability that he, it's really a case of when will he get hired somewhere, not if he'll get hired somewhere. And there are a lot of really good candidates out there that we're going to talk about in this video. There is a lot to cover here, so let's not waste any time, guys. Let's jump right in. Just before we start talking about some of these candidates, let's talk a little bit about the job that is out there for a suitable candidate. When you look at the 49ers defense, I think that this would be arguably the most sought after defensive coordinator position in the NFL. You look at all pro players, Nick Bosa, Fred Warner, Talanoa Hufanga at each level of the defense. Not only that, but you look at the players on each level of the defense to go along with those guys. On the line, you've got Aaron. Eric Armstead, you have Drake Jackson who's been developing, Javon Kinlaw still has a ton of potential. At linebacker, you have Dre Greenlaw signed to a long-term deal, Oren Burks has looked pretty good in limited time too, and then you look at the secondary, you have Charvarius Ward, you have Diamador Lenore, both guys who played really, really well this year, and of course there are the possibilities of bringing back guys like Jimmy Ward, Emmanuel Mosley, Tashawn Gibson, so I think that this is really a team that would be ideal for the next person who wants to be a defensive coordinator in the NFL and luckily for the 49ers there are a lot of really solid options out there that I think could be good candidates for the Niners so let's get into some of those guys right now. The first guy that I want to talk about is someone who's going to be on everyone's mind and on everyone's radar, and that, of course, is going to be Vic Fangio. Now, as 49er fans, we are familiar with Vic Fangio. He was the defensive coordinator during the Jim Harbaugh era from 2011 to 2014, and damn, were those defenses really, really good. So why is Fangio so sought after, not only with the 49ers, ideally, but also probably almost every team in the NFL? Well, just look at his resume. Not only has he been a coach in the NFL for 30, 40 years, but let's look at what he's been able to do. He's fielded a top 10 defense 10 times. 10 times he's had a top 10 defense in points. When you look at in terms of yards per game, nine times he's fielded a top 10 defense. And a lot of those have been in more recent years. When I say recent, the last 10 or 15 years. So he just does a really great job of defending modern offenses. The other thing too, which I think, and some of the other pros for hiring a guy like Vic Fangio is that, you know, the job that he did in Denver, I think he did an okay job with the defense, but I think it's unlikely that he would get another head coaching job elsewhere. So if we were able to bring him back, I don't think he'd be going anywhere in two or three years time, like a D'Amico Ryans basically is going to be doing. And full credit to D'Amico because he deserves to get a head coaching job somewhere. But the other big thing going back to Fangio, which I think is a huge positive, is the fact that because he's been in the league so long in terms of coaching, he has a great network of guys that he can go to to basically fill position coach spots. So you look at D'Amico and similar, it's going to be just like what Mike McDaniel, what Robert Sala did. A lot of the guys, the position coaches will probably follow D'Amico to his new destination. So being able to replace those guys will be a huge thing. And definitely Fangio has a bunch of guys that he can lean on, that he can reach out to, which would be a great job with San Francisco. Now, there are a couple of cons, I think, when you look at a guy like Vic Fangio, and the biggest, most obvious one is typically the style of defense he likes to run. Always, you know, in the 3-4 defense, the Niners really haven't run that type of defense in a number of years, and the personnel doesn't really lend itself to that. I think this might be a little bit overstated because at the end of the day, a lot of the concepts that Vic Fangio runs in terms of his defense are pretty similar to what D'Amico's done, what Robert Sala used to do here, and at the end of the day, when you look at Vic Fangio, he's been in a coach for so long in the NFL that I think he'd be able to make adjustments. The big thing would be, look, Vic Fangio, Shanahan, John Lynch, 
being able to get into a room, discuss what should the defense look like and what's the game plan to basically get the personnel to make that work. And I think they'd be able to figure that out pretty well too. The only other con that I can really think of when it comes to Vic Fangio is the fact that just availability is, you know, the Niners, of course, we have the NFC Championship game coming up. Should we win that? Then there's a Super Bowl. And he's, oh, Vic Fangio, he's already interviewing with teams. There's a slight rumor that he might have even been offered a contract by the Miami Dolphins. So by the time we actually are going to be conducting interviews for the position, will he be gone somewhere else? That is a possibility. But overall, to me, I think Vic Fangio, he has to be the number one guy that the 49ers would like to add as a replacement for D'Amico Ryans. The second guy that I want to talk about is going to be Joe Woods. Now, Joe Woods is someone that we'll be a little bit familiar with. He did coach with San Francisco in 2019. He was our defensive backs coach, and I think he did a very solid job that season with us. Now, as a defensive coordinator in the NFL, he spent five years in that position. Most recently, the last three seasons with the Cleveland Browns, most recently replaced by Jim Schwartz. Uh, before coming to San Francisco in 2019, he was the Denver Broncos uh, defensive coordinator for two years. Looking at his w performance, I think it's been a little bit of mixed results there. In terms of yards per game, which is actually, this is where it's really impressive, his defenses have finished top five in the NFL twice. So to me, obviously, that's a huge, huge positive. Your defense is doing that. On the flip side, though, when you look at points per game, his defenses have never finished higher than 13th. Now, of course, when it comes to points per game, there can be a lot of different things at play here. You know, pick six special teams things that all kind of counts against you unfortunately but overall you'd like to maybe have seen his defenses finish top 10 just you know coming into San Francisco where we will want to maintain our elite defense you'd like to have a coordinator who's has a proven track record in that regard too which he doesn't have unfortunately but again I think coming to San Francisco you know he'd have a lot more talent to work with and I think he'll have an offense that really does a great job of controlling time of possession so I think he'd be put in a lot more favorable positions coaching here as opposed to other places. The one other thing too that might be a bit of a con when you look at Joe Woods is, does he have the network? Uh, not gonna have the network of a guy like Vic Fangio simply because Fangio's been around for so long, but would Joe Woods be able to bring in those elite position coaches to really help elevate the defense and just to maintain the defense as an elite one in the NFL? That would be a huge question mark there. If Vic Fangio does get uh, hired somewhere else though, I do think Joe Woods would be a pretty solid option that the 49ers could look to bring in. The next guy that I want to talk about is going to be Chris Richard. Now, as 49er fans, we'll be somewhat familiar with Chris Richard. He was the Seattle Seahawks defensive coordinator for three years. Uh, most recently, he's been with the New Orleans Saints the last two years. Just in 2022, he's the co-defensive coordinator with head coach Dennis Allen. And uh, the results that Chris Richard has had in his NFL career as a defensive coordinator really speak for themselves. When you look at in terms of yards allowed per Per game it, out of the four years he's been a defensive coordinator three times they finished top five in yards allowed per game when you look at points allowed per game they finished top 10 three times so really really impressive stuff there I think similar to a guy like Joe Woods that in terms of scheme familiarity we have that there he knows the kind of defense that we would run here in San Francisco so that would be a huge positive too where it wouldn't be like a drastic overhaul in terms of what the defense wants to do to have success on the field so I think that could be a really good option there, looking at a guy like Chris Richard. Now, if I did have to look at some cons with Chris Richard is the fact that, you know, although he, he has been the defensive coordinator for four years in the NFL, it's you look at the head coaches there, of course, Pete Carroll, then you look at a guy like Dennis Allen, it's, do you give Chris Richard the credit for how well the defense is played? Is it just how Seattle and Pete Carroll, did he take kind of the reins on that? Not really 100% sure how it all worked out there. But at the end of the day, I think he's the defensive coordinator. He get the results going. So I think that, to me, kind of speaks for itself. Uh, the other thing, too, with Chris Richard, again, similar to maybe Joe Woods, is the fact that uh, what kind of network would he have? You know, would he be able to, again, entice and bring in some excellent position coaches? Because I think for the 49ers move, Moving forward, I think we're going to look for someone who's proven in the NFL, and Chris Richard has in multiple years of being able to do that, just to really keep this defense being able to play at an elite level. And I do think San Francisco is a great destination. So, you know, again, if Vic Fangio gets hired, I have to believe that a guy like Chris Richard will be in consideration for the 49ers defensive coordinator. 
The fourth guy that I want to talk about as a possible candidate to replace D'Amico is going to be Ejero Ivero. Now, he has been the defensive coordinator with the Denver Broncos just this last year. He is also someone who did coach with the 49ers for a number of years, also during that Vic Fangio era, and actually stayed on an extra year into 2015. Now, when you look at the job that Ivero did with the Denver Broncos in 2022, some of it you could argue looks really impressive, some of it maybe not so much. So, in terms of the ranks that his defense had last year, 7th in terms of yards allowed per game, 14th in terms of points per game. So you could look to that and be like, well, how great is that? Well, I think that there needs to be some context around that. The Denver Broncos 2022 offense is essentially historically bad. You can just think of all the different crazy situations that they would have been put in in terms of really bad situations, bad field position, constantly having to be out there going three and out so much. Yeah, not so good. Also with the 49ers, think back to week three. We played against the Denver Broncos and we could not move the ball on them. So I think that just goes to show you just how well coached that that Denver Broncos defense was. And I think think he did a really, really fantastic job there. Now, there are some cons when you look at a guy like Ivero, and that's going to be he only has one year as a defensive coordinator. And I do believe that the Niners will put probably look for a guy with a little bit more experience, someone who can just kind of continue on what D'Amico was doing here in San Francisco. The other thing too is that you look at a guy like Ivero and number one, he's already getting considerations for head coaching jobs elsewhere. So would we bring in a guy who likely after one or two years is probably just going to be gone and then we have to go through this whole search for a new defensive coordinator yet again. The other thing too, and this is going to be similar to Vic Fangio, is in terms of scheme fit. Now with a guy like Fangio just considering his vast experience, I think he'd probably be able to adjust a little bit better. However, maybe Ivero does have that more fresh, you know, younger, youthful look and uh, at more modern NFL defenses and would be able to adjust himself. But again, I think you'd have to give the advantage to a guy like Fangio in terms of being able to adjust. But overall, I think Ivero would be a solid option. There are definitely some question marks whether it's how long would he actually be here? Could he run the defense that Shanahan and Lynch want to run here? But overall, I think you can't deny the fact that he he is a really good defensive coach and someone that we should definitely consider bringing in at least for an interview to take a closer look at. Next up is going to be another guy that 49er fans will definitely be familiar with, maybe not as a coach, but more so as a player. And that's going to be Ken Norton Jr. Now, when we look at him, of course, in his NFL career, played with the Dallas Cowboys and played with the San Francisco 49ers. Moving on to his coaching career, he has been a defensive coordinator in the NFL for seven years. He's another guy who did coach up in Seattle, also coached with the Oakland Raiders, and someone who would be, in terms of, again, scheme familiarity, that's always always a good thing, a relatively seamless transition, and he kind of fits the criteria, in my opinion, of what the 49ers will be looking for. Someone with experience, someone who's able to run the scheme pretty seamlessly, and you can just use the amazing talent that we have here on defense and be able to basically just kind of keep this defense rolling. Uh, not only that, I think he is a guy who's been around the NFL, of course, as a player and as a coach for quite a long time, so I think he'd have a pretty decent network of guys that he could go to in terms of filling a position position coach vacancies. Now, the thing too is that uh, but people maybe forget is that Ken Norton Jr. was actually hired by the 49ers in 2019. He was actually hired as an assistant head coach. So believe it or not, the 49ers they're very familiar with them. Shanahan and Lynch, they really like him. They brought him in. However, when he was hired in 2018, he only lasted with the 49ers for a week, and then he decided to take the defensive coordinator position with the Seattle Seahawks. So I think in some ways it's a pro in the fact that clearly the 49ers value a guy like Ken Norton Jr., but also we kind of got spurned by him, and he decided to go to the division rival Seahawks. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't think you can really hold that against him because it is a pro motion in a sense being the defensive coordinator so I think the 49ers would understand that plus it was five years ago so I like to think the Niners will be a little bit over that too um, the other thing though when it comes to a guy like Ken Norton Jr. that is a little bit of an issue is the fact that in his entire career as an NFL defensive coordinator, his defenses have never finished in the top 10 in yards allowed per game or points per game. So that is definitely one thing which maybe will cause some hesitancy with the 49ers. But, you know, we'll have to see how it all works out. I think he does fit the criteria for what the Niners are looking for. But had, does he have the results to back it up? We'd have to let uh, Shanahan and Lynch figure that one out.
we are gonna finish off this video with five more candidates. Now, these five candidates, I think, are a little bit less likely to be hired by the 49ers for a number of reasons, so we're gonna run through these guys pretty quickly here. First guy I wanna talk about is Mike Zimmer. Now, Mike Zimmer, been with the Minnesota Vikings as their head coach for a long time. Before that, the Cincinnati Bengals defensive coordinator has had a ton of success coaching defense in the NFL. The question for me is, does he still wanna do it? Is he kind of maybe done with coaching? Has he retired? Nothing confirmed yet, but you know the fact that he's not getting interviews anywhere probably lends me to think that he doesn't want to do the job anymore, and it is a rigorous, demanding job. But if he does want to come back, and maybe he looks at the Niners' position you know, as a defensive coordinator and goes, man, that's a lot of talent. That could be fun to coach with. So you never know, but just throwing out the possibility. Next guy I want to talk about is Sean Desai. Now, last season, he spent it with the Seattle Seahawks, one of their assistant defensive coaches, and he's a guy that the year before was with the Chicago Bears as their defensive coordinator. They finished sixth in yards per, allowed per game and 22nd in points allowed per game. He's someone who's getting a ton of interviews all around the NFL for defensive coordinator positions. So number one, not even sure if he'll still be available when we go to hire a new defensive coordinator. And uh, number two, I think well, what that speaks to is that he's incredibly highly thought of uh, around the NFL. But again, I think we'll look for someone with a little bit more experience to replace D'Amico Ryan. Third guy you kind of have to talk about is Chris Kacarek. Of course, he's been the defensive line coach with San Francisco for a number of years. I just don't think that he wants to be a defensive coordinator. I think he's very happy just to be coaches the defensive line. He does a great job here in San Francisco of that. Maybe we give him like some kind of a promotion in terms of title. Uh, and I'm sure he enjoys coaching the likes of like Nick Bosa. So um, I do think that Chris Kacarek is a very good defensive coach. Just don't know if he'll be a defensive coordinator. Uh, next guy I want to talk about is Ed Donatel. So Ed Donatel, most recently the uh, defensive coordinator for the Minnesota Vikings this last year, they looked we'll say they looked okay. Now with Ed Donatel, he does have some experience coaching in San Francisco. He was here during the Jim Harbaugh years, of course, coach with a guy like Vic Fangio. If anything, if we are able to bring in Vic Fangio, Ed Donatel is a guy that I think we could bring in as a position coach, which would be an awesome hire in my opinion. As a defensive coordinator, I don't know about that. And the last guy that we're gonna talk about here is gonna be Denard Wilson. So former player, he's most recently been with the Philadelphia Eagles, one of their assistant defensive coaches there and a guy who's getting a lot of looks around the NFL too for defensive coordinator spots and I think he could be someone another young and up-and-coming guy where I don't know if that's the route that we're going to go but if it is I think he would be a really solid option or possibly Sean Desai whichever one might still be available but there you have it guys 10 defensive coordinator possibilities to replace D'Amico Ryans. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the guys that I've talked about in this video. Do, of course, drop some suggestions that you have. I'm sure there's plenty of guys that I've overlooked that I just completely missed, and I always love those discussions in the comments. I want to say a huge shout out and thank you to everyone for all the support through the streams, through the videos. I can't wait for Sunday. It's going to be a great game. And uh, you know, guys, before I head out, I'm going to say two things. The butt counts, and we'll catch you on the flip side.